Who do you think is the most extraordinary scientific mind that humanity has produced? There is no contest. Isaac Newton. Nobody comes close. He, working alone, discovers the laws of motion. Then he discovers the law of gravity, universal law of gravitation. Oh, and then someone asks, why do your planets orbit in this shape, ellipses, the ovals, rather than perfect circle? They say, I don't know, I, I'll get back to you. And he goes home, and he comes back, I finally have my answer. And they say, well, Isaac, how did you do that? Well, I had to invent integral and differential calculus to answer that question. He then discovers the laws of optics, deducing that white light is composed of colors, because you could take those same colors, recombine them, and get white light, which freaked out artists of the day. He does all of this, then he turns 26. You tell me, <laughs> okay? And in one of his books called Optics, he has a section in the back called Queries. He didn't have time to answer, he never got around to it. One of them is, I wonder if the stars of the night sky are just like our sun, but just much, much farther away. Hmm. Great scientists are marked not by their answers, but by how great their questions are. Because not all questions are made equal.